Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hurricane HQ, and today we're going to be taking a look at the current Atlantic and Pacific basins, and in the Atlantic we actually have an area with a high chance of tropical formation, which is expected to become a tropical depression or low-end tropical storm during the next 5 to 7 days. Now before we start this video, I definitely recommend you subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to never miss the next weather update. Now, as you can see here on our five-day graphical tropical weather outlook here by the National Hurricane Center, we have one area, which is actually Invest 92L, which is coming out of Africa and has a 70% chance of forming uh, in that red region right here. And then we have that other area, uh, just to the west of that. Uh, that area has only a 20% chance of formation, which is a low chance, although we still could be seeing um, maybe some higher chances, maybe a 40% during the next few days. So they may actually bump that up. Although the main thing we're going to be looking at today is actually this area. Uh, just coming out of Africa right now, this actually has the highest chance of formation and what I believe will actually become a tropical storm for a short amount of time. Now, real quick, I would like to show what's currently happening in the um, eastern Pacific here as we have a few uh, name storms and an area to watch. So we have uh, Tropical Depression Hilda here. This is a tropical depression, and not expected to be too strong, and it's just the same with um, Jemina. Jemina is a tropical storm, and this is actually um, a tropical storm right now. It's pretty weak, uh, although it actually could impact the Hawaiian Islands uh, into the next few days, although it's pretty unlikely that it will, although there's always that chance Um but even if it doesn't hit them directly, they are definitely going to be seeing some marine impacts. So this will definitely cause some disruptions. Although it is expected to weaken uh, before hitting there. So not too much is expected for the Hawaiian Islands. And we also have a 60% chance of trouble formation within the next five days in this orange region right here. Uh, that region, you have a pretty high chance of uh, a pretty medium chance of a tropical um, system forming there, so that's another area with the watch. Although that area is not really expected to be impacting land, but um, we'll have to look into the long term in maybe in a future video. Uh, we'll actually take a look at those weather models for that system. So now let's say actually take a look at the um, current information for Invest 92L. Now this is the area that's coming out of Africa in the Atlantic Ocean. And a tropical wave near the west coast of Africa is producing a large area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms. This wave is expected to move off the coast of Singal, the Gamba, and Guiana Bissau later tonight. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But environmental conditions appear somewhat con con conductive for gradual development, and a tropical depression is likely to form over the eastern tropical Atlantic south of the Cabo Verde Islands by late Saturday or early Sunday evening while the system moves westward to west-northwestward at about 15 miles per hour. So now let's actually take a look at my forecast for the impacts during the next five to seven days from this system. Now, as you can see, everything is just none. Um, it's, this, is, this area is actually not going to be impacting lands, although um, I actually may bump up that heavy rain threat to low for parts of Africa. Uh, they are getting some pretty heavy rainfall. Now, I don't expect any flooding, although there's always that chance. Uh, so I may actually have to bump that up to a low chance of heavy rainfall, or even maybe even a medium uh, for some of those areas there. Although wind damage and storm surge is pretty low for this, especially the areas it's currently impacting right now. Now, obviously I cannot predict the long term it definitely could impact Bermuda or the United States East Coast, Canada. I don't really, I don't really know, but we'll actually have to watch this and see what happens with it, as um, a lot could happen in the long term. And here's our current satellite of this area. Now I'm actually going to highlight where this is. It's a little hard to see uh, right now. This area is actually right over here. This is where we have. This is actually where it is currently. Uh, you can see we actually have a lot of thunderstorms starting to fire up uh, in some of these areas. Those thunderstorms are uh, actually showing some strengthening of this general area. And then we also have another tropical wave behind this that we're going to have to watch for tropical development. 
So now let's actually take a look at some weather models now. Um, and first, obviously, we're going to start with the GFS. Um, and as you can see right here, this is just about right now, we're seeing some of those disorganized showers and thunderstorms starting to move into the Atlantic. And actually, if we skip a few frames, uh, you can see that this is actually going to start getting more organized, maybe start circulating a little bit there. And you can see right there is actually the strongest bit. There's going to be some uh, pretty strong um, organization right here. This is about 42 hours out. And you can see right here is where we're going to see that strongest of the strengthening. That is 1,006 millibars. And if I actually jump to the next here, um, you can see that it's getting pretty close to Tropical Storm. Now, this is the South Simpson scale. And um, you can see it's possible. We could get those winds up to 39, to 39 mile per hour. I mean, <laughs> 40 mile per hour or um 45 at least we could be seeing a 40 to 45 mile per hour tropical storm forming there i'm not saying it's likely but i'm saying it is definitely possible as uh we definitely have those available resources in that region for a uh tropical storm and if not a tropical storm i would actually say trop depression now if we actually skip to the next frame here this is actually showing the satellite forecast. This is the uh, GFS still. And this is at the exact same time. So as you can see right there, and right there is the exact same place. But you can see a lot of convection there and a lot of um, thunderstorms there. And that is looking pretty organized. And I could even say that that could be a minimal tropical storm just by looking at satellite there. Um, so minimal tropical storm, I would say, is Pretty, there's a pretty good chance of that. Um, if not a minimal tropical storm, it must be a tropical depression there because that is not, not a normal tropical wave there. That is a pretty strong area there. And uh, there isn't many models actually showing it becoming this. I know it's pretty hard to see right now on some of those models and some of them aren't even showing it, but uh, the GFS is definitely showing something right there and it's actually not that far out it's about two ish days out so uh something definitely to watch there so now if we continue those frames there you can see that area right there right here is that tropical storm or potential tropical storm right here and this is actually gonna start to weaken now you can see right here it starts to weaken and then eventually it just becomes rain Although it actually does begin heading in this direction, and when it does head in that direction, it could actually enter some areas with warmer waters, possibly um, less wind shear. So there is the possibility of it restrengthening somewhere in the Atlantic and potentially impacting the East Coast, maybe Bermuda. I would say it's more likely to impact Bermuda over there. But it's just something to watch because the chances are pretty good that it's going to form here and especially um, out in the Atlantic. It's something to watch because we are actually seeing uh, that air moving upward in the Atlantic and over the Atlantic right now. And when that air starts moving upward, that is just very helpful for um, hurricanes to form. It, it helps them. It really helps them organize more easily. And that's, that's this is actually when we're going to start to see... Uh, those tropical waves starting to come out of Africa and start to um, become tropical storms, hurricanes, etc. So here's my uh, chance of formation for Invest 92L here. Uh, I'm actually putting on an 80% chance. Now keep in mind, this is my forecast, not the National Hurricane Center's. The National Hurricane Center still puts it out at 70%, although I'm actually forecasting it as an 80% overall chance of it forming. Uh, for the next, whoa, five percent. It's a pretty good chance, and this is actually ten percent from my last forecast, which was actually going with the National Hurricane Center at seventy percent. So um, the chances are increasing for this forming, and it's just something definitely to watch. So yeah, I want to thank everyone for uh, watching this video. I know it's been a while since I've posted. Uh, videos recently I've been pretty busy although what I, I am always doing is posting on my Twitter page so I definitely recommend you check out my Twitter page it is uh, at the hurricane HQ on Twitter that link will be in the description below 
I post tropical updates, severe weather updates, and everything else on my Twitter page every single day, all day. Um, so yeah, if you want to stay informed of what's going on with the weather, I definitely recommend you follow your local National Weather Service office and my account down there. Um, so yeah. I would also like to say uh, thank you so much for 200 subscribers on my YouTube channel. That's a big milestone. And um, yeah, just hitting 200 is a pretty big milestone for me. And I'd also like to say um, a, fellow a, a fellow weather enthusiast um, named Jaden recently died, unfortunately, um, due to, I believe, a medical condition. And his dream was to become a storm chaser. And I did post about this on my Twitter page, but um, a lot of storm chasers actually went out, and they actually uh, made the initials JD for his name, and that was a very nice thing that they did. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend you check that out on my Twitter page, and also uh, go check out the uh, GoFundMe that they made. I actually post that on my Twitter page as well. So if you would like to donate to Jaden's funeral, that link is there. Although. That is fully voluntary. I'm not asking anyone to do it. That is just if you would like to donate to them, then feel free to. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone found this video informative. And um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Follow my Twitter page. And have a nice day.